嬉しい。いただきます。いただきます。いただきます。いただきます。ますますます Japan, the land of the rising sun, a nation with unique food, unique people, and a unique football team. Japan have won the hearts of people around the world thanks to their incredible displays at this year's FIFA World Cup, but even more so thanks to their fans. Their vibrance and openness to share their team with the world has been amazing, and they've been grabbing the headlines for all the right reasons. So I'm here to see for myself what it's like to support the Blue Samurai. They're not as sharp as they look in the movies. I'm not going to lie. Japan debuted at the World Cup in 1998 and have been regulars ever since. Qualifying for the last 16 in three of the last five tournaments, their appeal is so far stretched. They're also the first team outside of the Americas to play in the Copa America. Mental, but it's their supporters that are the true heroes, committed to blending passion and fire with honesty and integrity. I'm meeting up with Akira Kahara, a Japanese content creator whose passion for the national team knows no boundaries. We're going to watch the game together and soak up the vibes. I've been blown away by how incredible the support for the national team is. People of all ages completely dialed into putting all their energy into making sure their voices are heard. I've got so many questions about what I've just seen: the energy, the love, the respect, the sustainability. It was also unique. To find out more about the Japanese way of life, I've come to Junko, an institution of authentic Japanese cuisine in Doha, for over 15 years. I've brought along a kiro with me, and I've also invited news reporter Hannah Jevons to help me make sense of this incredible culture. なんだろうサッカーにおけるこの応援のスタイルっていうところなので、まあ、どんな苦しい状況であっても,もうこう歌って選手のことを後押しするっていうのをずっと続けるっていう。You always have respect towards your elders, so your parents or your grandparents. So you want to always be respectful and to kind of carry that on. So we have family values like that, but that they might not necessarily apply in different spaces. But、mm -hmm. Even when Japan are not playing well, the Japan fans don't stop singing. They don't stop supporting,、mm -hmm. and that, I guess that ties in with that element of respect and that element of almost that humility. No matter what, being polite and respectful is just the basis of everything. It doesn't matter if it's football. It doesn't matter if you're at work. And so, it's very rare for you to be disrespectful to somebody. And I think you can see that. In the The most unique thing that I found、okay. at this World Cup、mm -hmm. is the Japanese fans、mm -hmm. being sustainable supporters. So when I first saw these blue bags, I thought it was just something that looks cool. But then you guys are cleaning up after the games.、Mm -hmm. Like, please talk to me about that. I think that value has kind of—it's just something we grow up with, and it's in our education system. So at school, we would have. 15 to 30 minutes every day, where we clean the classroom, we clean the bathrooms to say thank you and to make sure that everything is back to its place for the next day.、Mm. Oh yes. Wow. Takoyaki.、Mm. Yes, I like it. Okay, so you、mm. just do a little dip of soya. Okay, I took the I took my sushi for a soya bath. Okay, <laughs> fine, fine, fine. Japanese は何て言うんでしょう。立つ鳥後を濁さずというか。その使ったものを使う前よりも綺麗にして返すっていうようなところがやっぱりこう伝統的にあの意識として持ってる人が多いと思うのでそういうこうそういう意識が今回のそのワールドカップでも現れたのかなとは思いますね。はい
I'm trying to be delicate. Yeah. Delicate. Mm. Okay, I'm trying to be like the Japanese. Like, <laughs> graceful and delicate. Mm. Wow. Mm. Come here, you. Come here. Okay. There we go. We're like one little family. I need, to make, I need to make sure the kids are fed. <laughs> Wait, so talk to me. So for me, that blew my mind. But mm. how does this compare to tempura in Japan? Yeah, it's the the legend. Alright, let's go, let's go for this porn then. Let's all go together. We couldn't come here without speaking to the woman the restaurant is named after, could we? Meet the owner of Junko, Junko. So often with cultures around the world, there's a divide between older and younger generations, where one seeks to preserve and the other seeks to evolve. In Japan, it seems that society is constantly advancing without compromising their way of life. When you look back, obviously Japan is an island country. It's, it was closed off for, for a long, long period of time. So it has its own strong traditions that have just managed to keep. And even today, it's still just very strong. It hasn't really left. And so that idea to kind of keep the tradition is something to be very proud sure. about. That final game is going to be... Mm. Listen. Stay in Japan and yeah. And stranger no, things have happened. No, no problem. Japan win. I, 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 I like this guy. Man. I like this guy. I'm going to be singing that all day. I promise you. I'm going to be singing that all day. national team. Is that your favorite way of expressing your love for Japan? Ah, but it's so this day. But but this World Cup, I feel like I feel more 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 like it makes a lot of sense, without making sense at all. Japanese people have tuned into a way of life that challenges a lot of Western norms. Their culture has become a one-size-fits-all shoe, where their values apply in every scenario. We're all unique people, with different ideas, different thoughts, and different personalities. But the Japanese have shown me that we can all be different and still be dialed into the same frequency in life. And that is a beautiful thing.